Monday, February 5th, 2018, and we're at 20455 Quarterly Parkway out here in Rocket City, also known as Wedgefield. <clears throat> I'm top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison, 407 339 3200. All the information about the home is publicly available, zillowtrulyrealtor.com. I should know I put it all there. Look at that right there. Look at that huge eastern gray squirrel in the road. Why am I taking a picture of the squirrel? Because what this video is about is what you can't get on trulyrealtor.com, homes.com, all the places, which is a feel for the actual neighborhood. I'm in a nature that squirrel's about twice as large as the squirrels in the neighborhood here. The most important thing to get before we go look at the house is to get all the things around it because the house will be the best pictures. So you need to fear for what life's really like out here. Got a drainage canal that runs all down the side of the property. All the way down there. So your property goes all the way down to there, all the way down to the next road, which is Peabody, and there's a five acre parcel also available for sale that we'll look at in a minute. So the most important thing to get when you're out here Maybe minute translated video is this, what you hear. You hear nothing, you see nothing, don't have neighbors right on top of you. What I can hear is some chickens in the distance. I can hear a red-tailed hawk. I can hear a cat bird in the trees. Heard a daddy woodpecker a couple seconds ago. Got a black vulture flying overhead. Got squirrels as big as cats. You got your native longleaf pine there. It's my favorite tree in Florida. Why? Because the only way you get those trees is a forest fire to germinate the pine cones, which are on the ground there. And if you don't have a forest fire, you get no new trees. So that's a sign of the original Florida ecosystem in place. Now we're going to go down to the other side too, just so you can get a feel for what's next to you. See your neighbor across, which is hardly a neighbor, more like a field. Now from what I can determine, that's probably the actual property line where that fence goes right there. So if you look at the county records, this lot goes equal to the start and goes a little bit overlap and I'm imagining that is the overlap and the public plat. So this looks like two buildable two acre lots that are not the subject property but are still like next to you. So no neighbors and even if you get neighbors you're hardly going to be able to see them. So we're spending a lot of time out here this is why people live here. I mean, there's not, that's as far as the eye can see. You could land a 747 on that road. Just one of like many, many roads here. Not a car, not a person. Just the sound of my own footsteps. All right, we've got a gated community for extra security here. And we're not even inside. You can already see why well, you've got to see the video for this. There's no way to take a picture, capture the trees. It's a slash pine or a pond pine right there. There's the longleaf pines. Got your old swimming lake. Probably not swimming. Great for horses. The five acre parcel here, I believe you can have up to one horse per acre. And one of the things is infrastructure would be a place for them to hang out and drink. And this is it. 
also probably helps with some of the wildlife here. Like all these places, you have an unpaved driveway going up to the house. A nice little curve. You actually want an unpaved driveway. If you've priced out the cost of getting a paved driveway, you would see why you wanted an unpaved one. Also keeps it much more natural. I don't know if you can hear in the hawk in the background there. So you can see it is quite a walk just to get up to the house. That's my car. That car in the garage, of course, doesn't come with it. Trailer will be moved. House has been empty for a while. So definitely, it's going to need some work. But the potential of the house is fairly large. A lot of cement here. We're actually going to walk around the outside before we get into the inside. Because the outside is the part that's hard to catch and looking at a few pictures. It really is the attachment. If you don't like the outside, you're gonna buy in a little subdivision. There's some even houses even closer to the front of Rocket City Wedgefield here. But the reason to come out here is because you want this. And we see the rolling vista in a minute. You'll we'll see what I mean by this. Obviously we've got zoned AC, three car garage, including one in the back. Got the actual house. And right here, what a view. Just partially cleared. Now the very, very, very back of that is the additional lots that are also available for sale now. The five acre parcel behind, which we'll be including. It's really hard to tell where one starts and the other one ends, but I'll see if I can give you an idea. Yes, I know I'm taking into the sun. My other choice is to drive back here to get a different lighting. You can see this goes quite, I mean, quite a ways back. Somebody made a hill here at one point, maybe during the original construction. And then we just had a freeze just a little while ago. So why the grass looks a little dead on the top. What happens? It's going to come back lush and green in the summer. And I literally could walk for 10 minutes still not covered at all. So some of that in the very, very back is going to be the other person's property. Look at that privacy. So I'm going to approximate that I'm about halfway between the two lots. In other words, this is the boundary right here. That's a vacant lot on Peabody, also for sale. Five acres. I'm just going to use that tree as a rough estimate of about where the five acre parcel would stop. That's probably your back view. To give you an idea of about how big it should be. It could be wrong subject to survey and everything else. That seems approximately correct. We're now approaching the house. Let's go in. Okay, we're back in front. Got that view all the way down to your gate. Got the driveway bay up. So it's a little light in there. Plenty of covered parking. 
the two car garage plus this and as you're gonna see it's definitely gonna need a little work to get whipped into shape Interesting floor plan. Big open room. You like the open room concept? Here it is. Three bedrooms, two baths, actually three baths, but there's two in the master bedroom. And a very interesting kitchen. Very open. Your view from the control center of the house. Windows a little dirty, but you can see that amazing view out the back. It looks like the pantry was used for electronics more than anything. There is plenty of storage, especially if you decide to shove all that up. A very large laundry room, deceptively large. Wash tub, counter, cabinets, enough electronic equipment to keep you busy for the rest of your life. Obviously we've got a central vac. We'll go out into the garage. There's the central vac there. There's the AC. AC does look a little old from maybe about 2002 or so. They walk into the house. Got this beautiful open floor plan goes right out to the pool. Give you a feel for that, like you lived here. All right, we're going to the back of the house. I think I got the bath count wrong, so you can count with me. Bathroom number one. You know, the shower looks like it was used about never, maybe once. Pool bath, obviously. Pool bath, lots of linoleum, not tile. So that would be the guest bath. And then we would go into the big, big master bedroom. This is as big as about two normal rooms. Again, if you like the open concept, this is it. Even your closet is open. That's one of two closets, his and hers. You notice know, these are the original concrete floors. This one's been painted. Big shower. Room for you, family, the dog. In my shorts today. I'm going to be walking out to that vacant lot in a little while. Behind us on Peabody. You can see that one on YouTube as well. I'll post that separately. So I'm sure the AC works well, but he had that for some reason. Maybe he just lived in this room. It is a big room. This is the his portion. Black for his, I guess. And obviously this one is seen much more wear and tear. His pool bath, emergency escape. I don't know if that's going to be fixed. I don't know. Chances are it's going to be some renovations here. I didn't even know they made TVs like that anymore. And including the renovations, we're probably going to end up changing the shower anyway, so it doesn't matter how bad it is. I imagine. 
So we've got this cavernous room. And that was bathrooms two and three. And we have some smaller rooms to make up for the big room. It's the smallest room, kind of an office. Not a bad view. Got some woods. Got the drainage canal. The neighbors in the far distance. And we've got normal sized closets here. A lot of features are easy to miss, like the tall, tall, tall doors. And this is bathroom number four. Big tall, tall doors. That's a type of Berber carpeting. Which will probably need to get replaced. You have a room a little bit bigger than the second room here. It's more of a normal size room. It does look a little smaller because the ceilings are so tall. But that is a quality problem. Sure view. Got a normal size closet. And of course this whole part of the home is private. We come out into public. All right, that's the house. If you're looking for a top Orlando realtor, someone who knows East Orlando, Wedgefield, Rocket City, obviously I'm committed to the area. Call me for information about this home or any home like it. I am top Orlando realtor, Scott Garrison, 407-339-3200.